right guys so um, just continuing on from attacking from the top um, like I mentioned last time um, to be able to force a progression or to be able to force a submission it's really essential to get a control on your opponent so last time we did it from the general control we're able to force a submission in the armbar from there you can obviously take the back from there as well um, but I often see a lot of um, players they get into another really good control position the cross face and they're not able to progress position or they're not able to go and um, isolate um, and go for a, an attack so just wanted to bring it back and some details on the cross face itself and just play around with it and just understanding how you can progress from control so I'm sure you're all aware the cross face is this position and you know, you get into a really strong position like this, you pass the guard, you tried really hard, you're here and now nothing happens. You know, you get confused or people are really tight and you're just chilling here and you're just like, fuck, I'm here for a while, I can't do anything. So you need to start utilizing the controls that we have. And the cross face is number one for me, the best control to get to from side control. Um, and the details that I want you guys to try um, are as follows. First thing, I want you to, if you need to, lift your opponent up and get the armpit control here. So I'm just putting my hand in his armpit. Now from here, guys, you just have to look at my shoulder here. From here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our opponent into us and we're gonna fill this, I'm glad you might need me. We're gonna fill this space up with our shoulder before flexing it so that the space is already sealed. And now from here, all we're gonna do is drop our shoulder back. And we're gonna drop our shoulder down and if it's on the neck here, you should be able to get a tap, right? People aren't going to be limp like this, but this is the way that you can start um, uh, making your opponent move your arms because you're going to apply pressure. So again, guys, armpit control, bring your opponent to you, arm relaxed, feel the space, drop your shoulder down and into your opponent. So I want you to try doing that one. The other way that you can do the cross face is on the jaw. And this is if you want to twist your opponent across, if you need to get out of like a, uh, a knee cut or something like that. So we're gonna do the same thing. Drop, we're gonna drop our shoulder back and this time it's gonna be on the jaw and we're just gonna lean in guys. And I just want everyone to try that. Everyone should feel the choke coming in. And then the bottom player, I want you guys to figure out what you can do to try to alleviate the pressure. What, what, what you can potentially do with this arm or what you can do with this arm. And then we'll go from there. Any questions? Detail simple? Okay, on three, one, two, three. Time to get the sensitive view right, but that's sort of like the basics there with it. So, when you're doing it as well, make sure if you're the same weight, you can apply it, but apply it slowly. Never go from zero to 100, you're just going to hurt your opponent. Um, but as you guys all felt, a lot of pressure. Either it's going to feel like a choke pressure, or it's going to hurt, like rot, rotate the neck. Your opponent's going to address that issue. So, guys, any ideas on things that you could use to alleviate the pressure? Thoughts, guys? Turn away. So you're here. You're here. Thoughts, Mika? Still a bit of pressure, right? There's a bit of, like, as well, if you use the other arm, I can really lock my opponent in. There. <laughs> Turning away. Yep, potentially. Friends. So you lose. Fred, which frame? Um, probably more importantly, the left under your chin. Left under my chin. So, that's fine. So we're here. We get the cross face left under the chin here. Yep, yeah, definitely a valid. It will alleviate a little bit of pressure. Anything else? Even the other frame, like in the hip, so you can't pressure in. Yep. So here, here. The problem with this one, guys, is I can rotate and really kill it. So that could work too, but there's ways to killing that. Anything else, guys? Yeah, I mean, I'll look the shoulder. Yep, this side, yeah, perfect. So here, if you're here, like it, yeah, you can definitely, oh, wait, just grab them. Like this will definitely alleviate the pressure. This, I, I would use this as well. So several different ways in which you can alleviate the pressure, but all these are gonna expose my next move. So let's address the first one, alleviate this pressure here uh, with your right arm. And so even if you have the frame here, this is perfect guys. Like you can see the elbow rib is exposed now and you can kill the arm. So you're gonna drive pressure and all I want you guys to think about is putting the knee in almost near your, um, 
partner in the head. You're not going to knee him, but you're going to come, and you're going to think about kneeing him in the head here. Now from here, same uh, thing as before, we want to bring our opponent onto us, so we shelved onto our thigh. Mika will tell you now, it's really hard to move because his shoulders aren't on the ground. He's, he's lost all the mobility. So once we're here, there's a, a move that will pretty much work every time. Um, and it's jumping this leg over to get into the triangle um, armbar position. So it doesn't really matter what Mikai's doing here. If he's framing, you can push down. If he's like blocking down here because he's scared of the, the mount, push down. But all we're going to do is from here, push down. Put our weight onto our left leg. We're going to step over into this triangle armbar position. From here, we're going to very slowly sit down and bring our shin to our opponent's head. From here, we're just going to pinch the wrist with our knee and we're going to nice and slowly finish this armbar. It's probably the most powerful armbar, so be very careful. Fall back nice and slow for your opponent. So again, the one thing I just want you to guys to focus on this time is what my leg is doing when I'm, I'm shifting the weight. So we isolate the arm, bring our opponent onto us, and we're here to shift the weight. We're just gonna come and do a windshield wiper so all your weight can come and nice and slow you can bring it over. And again guys, from here, sit down, bring your knee to the head, pinch, and lift your hips up nice and slow. Did we need to see it again from another angle or pretty clear? All right, so from the near side up defensive, let's progress to the, uh, that triangle armbar from the top. All right, on three. One, two, three.